will charge back back Cause genius sisters use them like a lab rat The main freak dad at home is super busy mom But the boy's best friend is a talking dog That's right Extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny, Johnny, this is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. In fact, it's the earliest snowfall in history. Weird, huh? Details at six. You, you did this. You broke into the lab, made it snow, and nailed us with snowballs. Nope, nope, but yeah, we did nail you with snowballs. <laughs> and we borrowed the Johnny X and Super Dookie outfits. They're waterproof and maintain our body heat. Stop it making time! I think they're telling the truth. Then where is this snow coming from that's covering up what should be a hot and sweaty I prefer snow warriors to snowmen. The button nose thing is so done. Hey, how cool would it be if he came to life like that frosty dude? Well, my fuzzy buddy, all we need is a magic hat. To the lab! Impossible! The snowflake patterns are the same. It can't be real. I need a magic hat to make our snowman come to life. Who's with me? Snowman, magic hat, come on. I got just the thing. It's a hat made of atomic monad fibers that when placed on a snowman will convert its flakes of ice to living atoms and he will come alive. <laughs> Isn't that the plain wool hat you barfed into when you got carsick? Yeah, but now they are out of our hair so we can figure out how to get rid of the snow so we can get Gil shirtless again. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> before he comes to life. We need more snow samples. This magic hat is a fud! And so is the snow, so your snow door won't be coming to life today. <laughs> Happy birthday! He's alive! Cool. cool! I'm totally freaked. Don't be freaked. This is gonna rock! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> okay, whoa, chill out there, Frosty. <laughs> Snow, you oh. chill out. <laughs> oh, that explains it. What do you want now, Brain Freezer? Hmm, let me think. Pork belly! But first, I will eliminate the pest family! And I finally have the perfect army to help me do it! <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, we have some weapons of our own. Ha! There goes your perfect army! Ha! And now it's back, because my synthetic atomic monad blend can be molded and stretched into anything! <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, run. <laughs> this looks like a job for Johnny X and Super Dookie! No, it doesn't. As your name, Catpuss, if you play. Um, what, what was, was that? that? The Bling Bling Escape Pod. If Eugene should ever actually get into the lab, I simply blast myself to Paris and live here. Preambule. Le peuple pork belly. La femme sort a deadly snowman de la rue. Snowball, look out! Maybe we should do something. Fine. Snowman attack! <laughs> He always want to take over pork belt. What's so great about pork belt? I don't even like it here. 
Let's just melt these frosty freaks. Flamethrowers? Well, maybe my latest invention will cool them down. <laughs> Aim up. Fire! Okay, I have another idea. Look back, and man, am I cold! And where have you been? Paris. Ooh, nice. But we came back to try and save Pork Belly. What's the status? Brain Freezer has lowered the temperature to 50 below, so nothing works except his evil snowman. And the mayor is drafting a surrender right now. And uh, do you want us to pledge our allegiance to you, or uh, would you rather us commit our undying little loyalty? Ooh, tough call. How about commit your undying allegiance? Huh. Right. Um, Dying allegiance. With the sub zero temperatures neutralizing conventional weapons, we will need a natural high powered heat source to melt the snowmen. Right, so again, this looks like a job for Johnny X and Super Dookie. Load me up with power pudding powers and whatever else you can think of. Oh, and give Dookie a bunch of stuff too. Do we have to? Mutant powers, go! Okay, Super Pooch, fly! Fly like the wind! Uh, I don't think the mutant powers went. Because the lab is closing! We need another natural heat source to thaw the lab so we can use Johnny's natural heat source. And it's gotta be hot. Very hot. <laughs> we got it! You need to come with us. It's a matter of national security. What do you need, Brohams? Well, we're waiting. Um, do you really think this will work? Oh, yeah. And you'll need these. Okay. Now! Hey, we're mutant again! Super Pooch! Away! And uh, now! Uh, before Pork Belly changes its name to <laughs> Brain Freezer City, let us uh, pause and reflect and maybe hope someone will save us. No way, Pops. Now hurry up. Nobody's going to save you this time. Huh? Oh! Yeah, the guy with the flaming backside is back. Stand down, evil snowman, and eat my shorts! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> huh? We're saved! Then again, maybe not. <laughs> Forget it, Johnny X! Your butt blasts are futile against my awesome powers! Oh, blah, blah, my awesome powers. Can I borrow your phone? Uh, it's frozen and it won't work. Uh. Yellow. I can't stop them! We've accounted for this and upped your lower thermal energy burst, so try this. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Pump one arm at a time. Oh, really? Dookie can do that now? Okay, got it. Here you go. You know what? I've had it with this not cool town. So I'm gonna freeze pork belly solid! <laughs> Think again, brain freezer. Oh, please. I know all your tricks, Johnny. So give up! The name is Johnny X! Huh? That's a new one. But get him! <laughs> Dog. He'll surrender if we capture his precious pooch! <laughs> oh, no fair! He's got shape-shifting powers now? No fair! <laughs> well, 
This can't be happening. I'm a freezing genius. I'm supposed to win this time. Oh, will you just chill out? You've not heard the end of me. I will return, Johnny Test. I will. Well, you did it again, Johnny. You saved us from the clutches of a frosty villain and brought this sunshine back to Parkbelly. Yeah, that's great. Then why so glum, little chum? Because all I really wanted was a little frozen fun. Well. Oh, no way. Take this! <laughs> Yo, can I put my jacket on now? No. Wants you to say uncle? Yep. Cat involved? Oh, big time. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> huh? Classic game of Say Uncle. What kind of game is Say Uncle anyway? Who started it? Is it a game or simply a playground version of torture? <laughs> Who cares? The most important thing is that we rule at Say Uncle. And I must admit, I would not want to go up against you, my friend. Same here, but it would be a very excellent battle. Oh, a Say Uncle battle for the ages which would come down to one final explosive round where in the last second, I would win. <laughs> Say what? Well, face facts, Johnny. <laughs> With my superior intellect and taut muscle tone, I would win. Oh, really? I'd like to see you try. Then I guess it's on. Oh, it's been on. of water balloons. Uh, say here. Need new. Say, Uncle, challenge. Eating worms? If you can't eat them, then you gotta say it. Uh, Pass the salt. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be sick! Me too! Uh, 
is such a pleasant surprise that you want to hear this song I wrote for my beloved Susan. You know, I think... Yeah, yeah, just start singing so he'll cave first and say uncle. You will be saying uncle. Sing it, Bibi. Where we smell Johnny's hamper on laundry day and. Say it! 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 What is going on? Boy, talk first. Dookie, me, gameplay, say uncle! Say it! Say uncle! You say uncle! You say it! Off, it's not uncle. It comes from old Irish etymology, anacol, meaning mercy. And the game was started by Irish settlers in North America who liked to beat each other up for amusement. <laughs> oh, those Irish. They sure know how to have fun. No, it's time battle time! Ah! Restraint! <coughs> Don't you see you're destroying yourselves and your friendship? She's right. And the game is futile since Dookie would totally win. Say what? What? We created Dookie and filled him with super smarts plus amazing ninja moves, making him unbeatable. How can you vote against your own flesh and blood little brother? Hey, facts are facts. Just like the fact that I would whip you in an underwear fight or any stupid uncle battle for that matter. Oh, okay, you wanna go? Does that answer your question? Huh? <sighs> Team up! They look mad. Don't they look mad? <laughs> That's good, I think. I assume we'll settle this the old-fashioned way. Oh, yeah. Oh, so this is the old-fashioned way. Now say, Uncle, because I don't want to hurt you. I'd rather say, Earthquake boots, activate! <laughs> Tornado spinner. Nice counterattack with the web. Looks like the molecular wrist cannons are working properly. Yeah, I noticed that. Cookie? No, I couldn't possibly take the last one. Give it to Dookie. Why, thank you very much. Um, where did you get the rockets? Uh, found them. You know, maybe you guys are right. There are no winners in this game. Oh, there will be. Now hang on to your... Say <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Susan Test. Hey, I have an idea. Let's say Uncle. A <laughs> big deal, right? We say Uncle and we don't explode. That's a good plan, right? Forget it, Fuzzball. Now time to see who really rules in this family. Don't you think we might have taken this too far? No. First one to turn says also. But I can't hurt my best friend. What? 
is going on? Game, play, say uncle. Girls take way too far. Blame them. What? You started it. But you had to find out who rules the family and... You are all grounded for life! Oh, so Dad rules the family. That's right. And Say Uncle is just a silly game, and no matter what side you're on, you always lose. And besides, who cares who says uncle? Just say it, and nobody gets hurt. What? Because your mother proves the point. Okay, honey? Say uncle. Your father is absolutely right, kids, so... You say it, honey. And show them how silly they've been. Dear, you're not saying uncle is really not making my point. I agree, so you say uncle. Well, Mom and Dad are right. This game has no winner. But it sure is fun to watch. <laughs>